I know we haven't been a team for very long, but we fought some pretty major bad guys. So a little fire viper shouldn't be a problem. Definitely not. Though I do take issue with the word little. Ah, it's just a super-sized fire-breathing snake. I got this. Or not. Looks like you're outmatched in the fire department. Luckily, I can handle this guy with my speed. Or not. Yo, pal, I'm gonna use my... Or not. Or not. Or not. Wah, wah. Magma indeed. I've never assembled a Skylander team who's failed the Fire Viper training simulation this many times. But cheer up, gang. You should be proud you set a record for something. All together now. Hey, yeah, we should come together. Let's be Come on, Spyro. That Fire Viper simulation is the most basic one. I mean, it's the only monster we could actually run into without even leaving the academy. Totally. Oh. We can't even beat that. We're not much of a team. Oh, hey, I thought I was the only one who came here to think deep thoughts. Really? Because it's kind of the only serene, contemplative spot on the aisle. Totally. Yep. Well, she said. I've actually been coming here since I was a cadet. And the clouds really helped me focus. Like that one that's shaped like a fire viper. <laughs> well, I'm glad everyone is as thoughtful and self-reflective as up until now I thought only I was. Well, thinking about the fire viper simulation isn't beating the fire viper simulation. So what are we going to do? I might have an idea about that. I have things to think about too, you know. Like what to do now that Chaos knows the location of the Core of Light. Ooh, that is a thinker. But, uh, if you had a plan to help us beat the Fire Viper simulation, maybe we could do that first, huh? Skylanders, I am concerned Chaos's increasing plots and schemes suggest a growing darkness in our realm. So I've asked one of my oldest allies, Sensei Kingpen, to help me deal with it. But I believe he can help you, too. Long ago, Master Eon and I fought side by side against a great foe. It was a difficult battle that we nearly lost. After which we vowed to do whatever we could to protect the Skylands. While I founded the Academy... I went to work on this. A box? What? Is it not a box? While I have been training Skylanders these many years, Kingpen has been working to assemble a protector of the realm with unlimited skills and abilities. One who could operate as a one-man wrecking crew when Skylanders are unable to answer a call to arms. So it's like some sort of robot Skylander? Robot is merely one of the many physical manifestations of this being. I've created my own Skylander, if you will, or as I call him, Psy. Now, it is up to all of you to venture inside the trunk and construct your new teammate. We get to build him? You get to create him. By using your imagination, you will choose the appendages and powers for your creation that speak to you above all others. To that end, you will need this. The Creation Crystal. When all of you put your hands on it, it will take you to the imagination space where your imaginator will be born. You'll go in the box. Skylanders, touch the crystal. Huh, nothing's happening. Maybe your crystal is broken, Kingpin. Where are we? Ah. I think Kingpin called it the imagination space. Oh, I wanted to go in the box. We are in the box, Eruptor. Well, so to speak. The box is the imagination space. So, uh, what do we do now? I guess we think about what we want our new Skylander to look like. Uh, a banana head? What's wrong with a banana head? This is your idea of a new teammate, Pop. Uh, maybe? Okay, we've got the head. Let's imagine what else we want for side. <laughs> well, 
now, this is... Uh, something, isn't it? Unorthodox, for sure. But if this is what the Skylanders imagine, then this is surely the teammate they need to join them. So do we do it wrong? There is no right or wrong, Pop Fizz. Only what is or is not. So that's a yes or... Sai should have come to life by now. His design is such that once he is fully assembled, he would just... I'm the real pill. Sorry, that's my catchphrase of this head. <laughs> catchphrase? Like a Skylander needs something like that to get all fired up. <laughs> right, guys? Hi, my name is... Wait, do I have a name? He called you Sai. So what are you exactly? In theory, Sai is the missing link you all need to overcome your recent shortcomings as a team. To wit, he will be joining the Skylanders for this purpose. This will be his first field test to see if he can do just that for your team and others that follow in the future. Oh, cool. New team member with a banana head? I can dig it. Is your head edible? <laughs> Let's find out. Simmer down, Pop. Look, now I'll be the first to admit the team is going through some growing pains of late, but Sai hasn't graduated from or even trained at the academy. How do we know he'll be up to actual Skylandering? Sai is designed to learn any skill or ability a Skylander can, so he can do anything? Guys, Sai could be what we've been missing to finally beat the Fire Viper simulation. We shall see. Now, while you and Sai train together, Kingpen and I also have some important work to do. So what do we do next, Sky friends? First things first, a very important question. How do you keep your banana head from turning brown? Shanks. You bellowed, sir? I am trying to make a copy of the map to the Core of Light, but I can't maintain the projection and draw at the same time. Thank goodness you're not also trying to chew gum, sir. I need a faster quill. Or quicker parchment. Or, ooh, I know. I'll project it and you copy it down, Glummy. <clears throat> Yo, what now? Why isn't this working? Have you considered that your trouble may be stress-related, sir? How do you mean? Well, destroying the core of light is quite a tall order. The pressure to become the ultimate evil in all of Skylands can weigh on a person. Mm, you make a fair point, Glumwad. But what can I do about it? I believe I have a foolproof solution. Are you sure it will work for me? I said foolproof, sir. Noted. Lead on, my good troll. <laughs> I know Kingpin says I can do anything a Skylander can, but since I haven't exactly done a single thing yet... Dude, that's why we're here, to help you as much as you're gonna help us. Ergo, we'll start with the little flight instruction, which happens to be my speciality. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> Obviously. You're talking about your wings, right? Exactly. And you've got them too, pal. So if you can fly even a little bit, I'll whip you into shape. I'll do the same with my blades. I'll show you how to harness the power of the air. I'll teach you how to burn, baby, burn. And I'll show you how to blow up the entire academy. Or one enemy. No reason to swing for the fences on the first pitch. That all sounds great, but I have so many other powers. Maybe we could use some of those too, like my awesome mashed potato powers. Easy, big guy. Look, everyone loves a good spud-based superpower. But let's keep it simple and show you how to master your powers that are like ours. Oh, and I bet that will help you guys solve whatever your problem is as a team, too. Well, that's what King Pen built you to do. So let's give it a whirl and see what happens. So, ready to go? Ready for what exactly? Ah! <gasps> hey, hey, relax. Relax. Trial by fire. I got this. Spiral away! Trust me, sir, a few treatments here at Villain's Oasis Day Spa 
and all the stress of being the unquestioned evil overlord of the universe will just melt away. I'm still unclear how any of this is supposed to help me project the map to the core of light. Relaxation is the key to quality projection magic, sir. Believe me. But how am I supposed to relax here? There aren't even any torture devices. Take your mind off torture for the day. You're here to pamper yourself. You've earned it. Two gentlemen's respites, my good man. And please, any attendant except Olaf. I want someone who respects boundaries. Ah, that's it, sir. Just let all the evil tension melt away. I really appreciate you guys showing me how to use my powers to be more like you. But do you think I helped you with your team problem, though? A good question. But I think we work pretty well together, making you more like one of us. Totally. Looking at Sai is like looking in a mirror. We could be twins! Seconded. And there's no better way to show that we've overcome whatever our team issues were than facing that Fire Viper simulation and finally taking it down. So, Skylanders, are you ready to try your new and hopefully improved hand on the simulation course? As ready as we'll ever be. Bob, your uncle. Let's do this. Seriously, a flip of the coin. And I am looking forward to seeing what you have added to this team. Just wait, Kingpin. Get ready to watch this banana split the bad guys. Well, pund and all that, but maybe tone down the whole catchphrase thing, right? Okay. Okay. Skylanders, fight! Let's fly, Sai! Oh, no, dude! You're supposed to go on the other side of... Oh. Are you okay? Yep. Yeah, I'm all right, dude. Sai! Come on, let's show this overgrown garden snake some real moves. Dude, what are you doing? Wait till the target is close enough to... Don't worry, buddy. It's time to bring the heat. And the pop! No, you're supposed to fire a potion explosion deal. A pop! Ah, uh, right, right. No, Sai! I need one of your flame shots! You do? But erupt the sense. Get down! Wow, close one. Wait, I have just the thing for that. Right, JV? Do you? Did we win? <laughs> All right, go Skylanders! Woohoo! Yeah! I won't sugarcoat it, Skylanders. The Fire Viper simulation should be a walk in the park for you by now. I am very concerned about the future of this team. Sai's vast skill set should have improved your performance, and working within the team dynamic should have honed your performance. I, too, am greatly concerned, and I fear I may have to take you apart piece by piece to get to the root of this problem. Now, if only there were a good thinking spot here at the Academy where I could ponder deep thoughts. Oh! I have just the spot. I guess being able to do a lot doesn't matter much if you don't know how to use any of it. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. I'm not so sure you were the problem, Sai. <sighs> Eruptor's right. King Pen designed you to help any team. And we're more dysfunctional than ever now. Which can only mean one thing. We're not a team. At all. I thought I'd always be a Skylander. I've never considered doing anything but that. We all thought that. I don't think any one of us has a fallback option. Do you really always come here to think? Because I literally have never even seen you here before this week. Um, <gasps> it's the thinking spot, Spyro. We all come here. Although now that we're probably not going to be a team anymore, I might stop. I'm thinking of opening a cafe. Artisan coffees, bespoke pastries, that sort of thing. <sighs> I wonder if there are any volcanoes hiring. Well, I have tenure at the Academy, so good luck. <sighs> I wish I could stay here and truly train. But you heard Sensei Kingpen. Back to the drawing board for me. Literally. He's gonna take me apart until he figures out why I'm such a loser. Um, guys? A loser? Are you kidding me with all the great stuff you can do? You're amazing. Yeah, we're the losers. Our mistake was trying to make you like us. Guys! A lesson learned too late, I suppose, but 
Clearly, we shouldn't have stomped on your individuality. You just needed to be you. Guys! Pop, seriously, dude, not every cloud in the sky looks like a fire viper. Uh, that's no cloud. Uh oh. Glum shakes! Glum shakes! Glum shakes! Ah, ah, what is it, Master? The map! It's gone! I can't make it appear at all! Calm down, sir. I'm sure if you just relax... No! I am done relaxing. Not that anyone could relax in this place. Ugh. Candles? Incense? New age ambient music? It's no wonder I'm so tense, and it's all your fault! Uh, I will admit, the music is a little much in these places. Yeah. What I need now to relax is to inflict on you the most horrific punishment imaginable. And I know just what it will be. Whoa! This is a lot realer than the simulation! More real! What? Realer isn't a word! Not the time, grammar police! Oh, will you two stop bickering and get ready to fight? Oh, what's the point? We already know how this ends. Yeah, we've thrown everything we have at this thing a million times in simulations, and we never win! Guys, maybe we should throw something at this thing that we don't have! Wait, that's it! We've been so busy reusing our powers over and over again that we didn't realize we had more in our arsenal. Someone with his own unique powers to go with ours. What do you mean, Spyro? We need you to do what it is you do best. Whatever makes you different than us. Maybe that's the missing ingredient we need to finally take this bad boy down. What makes me different? Okay, but what is that? Whatever it is that isn't like us. You do what you do best, we'll do what we'll do best. And maybe together we can win. Even if that means the occasional catchphrase. Hawk and awe, baby. I'm calling that catchphrase. It's mine. Let's go bananas! Ah. Ooh, bit of a groaner, but I'll allow it. Spyro, show this lizard how to make a real fire. I'm all fired up! Hey, did I just catchphrase? You did. Now flame on. Blow it up! Or to burn! Motion of the potion! Off, Skylanders! Guys, may I do the honors? Mashed potato power! <laughs> I'm the real pill. Great job, Sai! Hey! Spiffing job! <laughs> we rule! You did it! No, we did it as a team. Indeed, you did. And if you've defeated an actual Fire Viper, then I can finally say you passed the simulation with flying colors. Congratulations. Sai did exactly what you built him to do, Kingpen. Figure out what it was we were missing all along. And what was that? Remembering that teamwork is more important than our own individual powers. Yep, all of our abilities are awesome. But if we don't use them together, then we'll never win. Sai. You have proven that you are exactly the warrior we designed you to be. I never oh. doubted you. Well, maybe for a moment I did. Perhaps longer. Enough to consider scrapping all your parts and starting from scratch if need be. But all's well that ends well, right? Well, it felt great to finally help the team figure out its missing link. And you shall do so again, Sai. There will surely be other Skylanders across the realm that will need your help in due time. Hey, you never did figure out your catchphrase, did you? Oh, I've had my own catchphrase for years. I just don't use it. 
I'm cool like that. Ah, uh, totally get it. The silent but deadly type. Oh, that was totally your catchphrase, wasn't it? I'm workshopping it. Ah, oh, please, sir. No, I, I understand you need to torture me, but waiting in line at the Skylands DMV is cruel and unusual, even by your standards. It's the least you deserve for all that spa nonsense. I've still got cucumber seeds in my eye. And besides, you need to renew your toady license anyway. Uh, next. Aha! This is the wrong line for these. If you want to renew your toady license, you need to wait over there. Uh, no. Please, no. <laughs> oh, Glumshanks, this is exactly what I needed. Look! Ah, uh, congratulations, sir. Shall I fetch a quill and some parchment? Yeah, I'd rather watch you suffer. Besides, now that I'm back on my game, I can copy the map down anytime. I mean, it's not like the core of light is going anywhere. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I just get weird. <laughs> and now to move the core of light. <clears throat> Come on, work with me. Yeah, the